Hello and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. In the last episode, we took a defense against the Dark Arts class and we kicked butt in Charms class. And now we're about to begin a brand new quest, which I believe is going to hopefully take us to Hogsmeade in order professor? to... Oh, I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. It's Dobby. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. <laughs> ah. There you are. Here I am. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Nope. Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. I know. You told me this already. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, oh, goody. regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Oh, I gotta pick somebody. Oh man, I quite like Natty. She was I'd nice. Like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students, and she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood, yep. a rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butter beer at the Three Broomsticks. She keeps saying no time to waste, but she goes on and on and on and on. Jeez, lady. Is it a meme? Is it a joke? Like, oh. Right, yes. I know. She just told me all of that. However, you summed it up in words far quicker. I just need to go and see... Oh, my goodness, all these cats. Professor Ronan, there I'm you are, bro. You. I'm ready. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Ooh, Fixes things right up. With that on makes that a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. Oh my goodness. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. I'll start yes. on the task right away, Professor. I'm going to give you some tasks. Did I say I was going to give you some tasks? Other people are going to give you some tasks, but before they do, I'm going to give you some tasks. Great. Collect the flying paper near the broken statue. How hard could it be? This is the uh, right area. So, we need a bit of Accio, I guess. Paint. Got it. Got it. Yep, that's me. Impressive, aren't I? Collect the flying page near the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. Okay, no problemo. The page must be around here somewhere. Yep. 
I find it. Don't worry about it, mate. There it is. Nope, missed. Got him. I did it, sir. Can you tell me that I, I did it right three times? Weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Oh, I press the wrong button. Oops. Ah! Don't don't catch me up, red thing. Well, I got it even though I pressed the wrong button. It wasn't perfect, but I got there. Mending charm repairer can be used to mend broken objects. Oh look, there's the dinosaur. Some other people obviously break that dinosaur That's as well. It. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Broken thing by somewhere. Okay. Where is it? No, no. I gotta go fix that dinosaur anyway. Not that I didn't break it. Someone else broke uh, it. It's, it's not this way, is it? This is the wrong room. Let me back out. This way. Wasn't me, guys. It was Tim. I saw Tim do it. Isn't the team at the school yet? Definitely is. Look, this dinosaur totally broken. Look at look at it being all broken. There we go. Repair. I fixed it. Ta da! You're welcome. There you go, Tim. Solved your problem for you, so you didn't get in trouble, Tim. You owe me, Tim. Okay. Now what? Now what, Maestro? We need to go to see. The, oh, the front doors to go see uh, the hogs meaty people. Hogs meaty people. They're the people made of hogs meat. Is it? No, of course it's not this way. Why would it be that way? That would be too simple. Oh, hang on a minute. Something buzzed then. Oh, we, we need a bit of Revelio, I think. No, nope, wrong button. Something definitely just buzzed as I went past there. Hmm. Maybe not. Is this the statue that I need to fix? Repairer. Talking to me. They don't take kindly to mumbling statues, you know. Hello, looking for me? I am. I'm ready to go to Hogsmeade. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsmeade. You must be eager to have your own things again and to see the village. Yeah, I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Oh, really? How interesting. I wonder if we get to spend much time outside of Hogwarts. I'm assuming so, otherwise, you know, where's all the bad guys and stuff going to be? It's beautiful! Just like I remember it. From when I was a boy. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Because I chose you, you see. Because yes. the other guy I was too to telling me how wonderful I was. It was a bit creepy. Myself. I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, 
I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Give me the bucket. Oh no, wrong button. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you it's Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. It's a bit of a trek to uh, the old Hogsmeadey place. Oh, wait, but that's fine. Oh, going off I road. I spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Stew them? Oh man, poor little things. Okay. Flowers that make trumpeting noises. I wonder what age this is aimed at. Because when we first started it, one of the first words that one of the professors said was, Oh, damn. And you just think, well, if it's if it Look, is a kid's from a game. Forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Yeah, if it is a kid's game, then you you probably wouldn't have had that as one of the first lines in the in the dialogue. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students. As the name Let's go. Lies. Why is it off limits? Oh man. The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, Danger's my middle name. Over the crest. Pass that ruin. So I'm guessing it is it's probably teens plus at least. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. The dialogue is I was quite when Professor Weasley mentioned young. That you knew the area since you're relatively it's... new here. She said that. Oh, I can see those now because someone so died in front of me. That's why I can see those I now. Guess. That's why they're not invisible anymore. Well, I certainly learn a great deal in class. Much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Oh, hang on a minute. Taking those toadstools. Never know when you might need a leaping toadstool. But yeah, I like. Oh my goodness. I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Let me also. Hmm. Poor Mr. Can't make him fly. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. Oh, hang on a minute. What we got over here? I've never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just what I am happy Do I to collect it? whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that it's in mind. Moonstone. Mind. Thank you. I can't remember what I was saying now. I was trying to say stuff and you keep interrupting with your nonsense. Yeah, oh, that was it. The uh, the Weasley teacher. She's, she speaks to you. She's very condescending. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. 
and you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Good. Do I still have to follow you? Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you I soon. I honestly hope the whole game isn't like this. If it is, I I can't see myself making it all the way through. It's it's draining. The amount of conversation, maybe because I'm a little bit ill at the moment. If uh, just for just for reference, I've been a bit out of it the last couple of days. I've had a bit of a nasty cold. Uh, I've still got quite a headache, so maybe it's that that's that's causing the problem. But this is ridiculous how much dialogue there is but what i was trying to say about the uh the Ginny professor well, not Ginny, what's the case uh, the weasley professor is that yes you're a student and she's a headmistress or whatever she is so she would be condescending on that point but the the talking to you was it was very babyish like repeating the same thing over and over again be like you sure you've got it you sure you've got it which might just be her character but it's if this game is genuinely aimed at older people, I think it's I think it's too much. Right, let's go see Ollivander then, which will be that one. And let's see if we can uh, not have people rabbiting on in our ear rolls every 10 seconds, because it's it's getting a little bit irritating now. The uh <laughs> he didn't shut the whole way here. I'd much rather just be off exploring on my own. I don't need somebody holding my hand per permanently, you know? But I guess they're introducing you into the story, which is fine. Take your money, Ollivander. And then I come spend it with you. But, um... Yeah, it's... It's I'll be right quite with... draining. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. I expected him to be much younger. I thought this was set before. Uh, hello, sir. I'm looking for, for a new Maybe one. Maybe it's set after. Yes. It's about time. Yes, I... About time. Well, this is Ollivander's dad. Student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. Oh, but yes. Of course. You'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. Truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Hmm. Uh, no, 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 not you. Um. Ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here. Give this one a try. Don't think it's gonna work. Well, go ahead. Swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more. Come on. Really swish it. I guess up to no. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Get me the other half of Voldemort's uh, you, uh, wand. I reckon that'll work. Uh, Got a feeling. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. It's a bit knobbly. Goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, Pretty good at ancient magic, so maybe an ancient one. Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. All the ones in the green yes. boxes. I think you might be the one. Here, take it. 
Oh, here we go. Or do I get to, I get to, like, do my own wand? Dogwood. <laughs> Unicorn hair, fairly bendy, 13 and a quarter inches. Do I, do I get a choice with that? No, but I can use a wand style. Okay. So what How have we got intriguing. here? Notched, warm brown, classic gray, soft spiral, light brown. I, I don't like that one. That's quite cool. Oh, I like that one as well. No. Uh, I quite like that. What's the uh, variations have we got? A bit plain. How that intriguing. One? We've got a darker one of those. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that one. Wood type. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I don't, I don't want dog wood. Acacia. Curious indeed. Alder, apple, ash, aspen, beech, blackthorn, cedar. No, I, I want to do this one. Cherry, chestnut, cypress, dogwood, ebony. English oak. Oh man, there's so many different choices. I think I, I'd go for a nice English oak. Because I'm English, mate. Indeed. Yes, we know it's curious indeed. 13 and 3 quarter inches, 14 and a half inches. How small can we go? 9 and a half inches. How intriguing. I think we'll go a nice solid, a nice solid 12 inches. Fairly bendy, very flexible, spring, oh, okay, they're different, okay, quite bendy, fairly bendy, very flexible, quite flexible, surprisingly swishy, swishy, slightly springy, supple, reasonably supple, whippy, brittle, hard, solid, stiff, rigid, unbending, slightly yielding, unyielding, an unyielding 12 inches English oak sounds perfect for me, I shall select that, and uh, we shall have it with... Feather of a phoenix, as then I get extra lives, mate. Great range of magic, consistent magic, powerful magic. Oh, it's got to be dragon. Then. Wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Sounds good to me. Gonna level up quicker than what the other ones. What do you think? Bro. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> Can I have the box or do I turn and get the box? Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. What if I want two ones? What if I want a dual wield? Can I dual wield? <laughs> okay, let's go uh, buy some potions and stuff. Hopefully we can get through that relatively quickly. Not too much nonsense. Uh, how do I get back to the map? Which button was it? That one, I think. Okay, so we are now going to... Potion one. That one. Pippin's potions. How hard could it be? Which way are we going, little bug? Show me the way. Up here. Here we go, guys. I really want you to stroke the cats in this game. Welcome hey! To Pippin's potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come. Though... I don't believe I've seen your face here before. You can skip. Either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. I won't skip this really? beginning bit, because uh, well, obviously we're still learning I'm about everything. At your service. But I, this is if Jay people start Pippen's going on, potions. I'll be skipping. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say, yeah, how may I don't care. today? <laughs> Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipe. Yeah. Show the student she sent the owl about. 
Yeah. Is it not the most fascinating art? Oh my I goodness, we don't care. No, we don't care. Be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. Yeah, we know as what potions are. We play plenty of I games. Should mention that it's not just potion recipe. I also don't care. have already made drafts for all manner okay, so of Okay, so yeah, and, so we buy ingredients yeah. and potions. Yeah. But for now, let's get you though. Yeah. That's what a lot can of I do for you today? Open the shop. Okay, I guess they're free, so they're, they're, I guess they're the ones I'm supposed to be purchasing. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. How or much money do I have? Time if you're in a rush today. It'd be nice if it told me how much money I have. Oh, I can sell that horrible beige scarf. Let's get rid of that. I can get rid of the glasses. I can get rid of that stupid flat cap. Good. Okay, so I've got 368, so I can't afford any any of those. But I could potentially buy some of these things. Not that I <laughs> troll bogeys. Not that I need any mongrel fur. Oh man, dog water now mongrel fur. Poor dogs in this game. Spider fang. Stench of the dead. Reading for thunder brew. Okay, well, let's not waste any money right now. Um, we got what we needed. Excellent. And he got the he got the point. I don't have to keep talking to him. We'll steal some of his money though. Thank you very much. And let's uh, let's do the off. Let's find the next place we need to go to. There's a lot of places in town. Where are we going? What we got down here? This is tombs and scrolls. We've got the magic neep. Fresh produce. Oh, seeds and fertilizer. We needed to get seeds. Uh, hairstyling. So I guess you can go and change your look. Clothing shop. So I guess you buy new clothes. Brood and Peck, uh Supply shop with latest and greatest beast byproducts. So that could be useful. Uh, we've got... Um, bunch of other places as well what's this one the sporty needs i don't know if we need to buy a broom or not i doubt we could afford one so let's go over to the magic neap first and go and get those seeds and we'll uh, we'll, hope, we'll see if we can get ourselves a broom it would be nice if we could get a broom don't need to go in there well, i need to go over here over the bridge okay can i just there we go we'll go the easy way parkour well hello there Good morning. It's Timothy. Oh, you broke that dinosaur earlier, Tim. Arranged for me to collect. Oh, the dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's yes, Merlin's that's me. Beard. Starting off, yeah, not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Oh my oh, goodness! Bravo. Not everyone has the no. My name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neap. Good. I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. Good. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Please. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. <laughs> yeah. The around. seeds that you know that I'm coming for. To pique your interest, I'd wager. Hmm. We've got ability. Oh, I can sell you that scholar's robe. Oh, I could, is that to buy? No, that's sell. I'm not selling those. Okay. Uh, fertilizer. Yeah, I don't need to buy anything else right now. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> appreciate you you cutting your dialogue short for me so I don't have to listen to you witter on about me being new with the school. Oh, you have, you've gone into fifth year. That's unusual. I know it's unusual. People keep telling me it's unusual, but geez, you're a, let me buy stuff from the shop. Hang on, I want to buy that. Uh, Got him. I see magic paper, I take it. My magic paper. Leveled up, level four. Whoop, whoop. Up. Nope, can't go that way. Invisible walls. I'm sure there's loads of stuff I could be finding, money and chests and all that sort of stuff. But there's this, this, this thing inside me at the moment probably because of my headache where i just think i don't care <laughs> maybe in the maybe yeah in a couple of days when i'm feeling a bit better okay we don't need anything from there then so um i don't think we need did we need to go to that one what else do i need to buy 
Visit Tombs and Scrolls. Okay, so I do need to go to that one. Okay. Put it on the map. Let's head down there. Which way is it, Magic Book? It's this way. Tombs and Scrolls. An what annoying person we got to talk to now. Thomas Brown, why don't you tell me what shop I'm in and what your name is? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. Thank I you. I take what? it you've had a conjuring lesson then. No, I'm maybe. afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Yeah. Of course it is not without complaint. Okay. Stay the course. That's certainly something to aspire to. And I too see it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. Oh, don't tell me I we got base building. The teaching. Oh, what? For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. Thank a you. I appreciate your... And a potion station. Timely... Yes. I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like be hey, less appreciation. Let's look at what we have, okay. shall we? I take one of those. He looks really annoyed at me now. I'm sorry for skipping your dialogue, bro. If you're interested, the accident. Feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. Uh, it doesn't look like you've got anything that I could particularly use, well, but I appreciate everything. it. Better go okay. find Natty. No, I don't want to go find Natty yet. I want, what I want to do is I want to go to the clothes shop. I want to go to the clothes shop because I want to see if there is, it's that one, isn't it? I've got to go that way anyway. Yeah, I want to see if there's uh, any way of buying stuff that like ups my defense and things like that. Not that I need it right now, but I, I want to know that that's what you're, we're going to be getting up to in the future. So let's uh, head up here and then we'll go find Natty. And she can tell me a live story again on the way home. Wouldn't that be lovely? Hey, guys. Have you got a chest I can raid, actually? I didn't raid a chest at the other two ones. Uh, you got a, one of those. No chest? Uh, oh, you got one of those eyeball chests. How am I supposed to do it? There must be a way. One here. Which have we got our gloves on? Nobody see us. No, wrong button. Revelio. Put it in the book, quick. Sneaker scope. Oh, a sneaker scope. Hang on a minute. I need to learn about that. Is that going to help me with the chest? No, wrong button. Uh, collections. Would it be in ingredients? Appearances. Conjures. Potions. No, it's not that, is it? Is it in the challenges? Field page guides. Oh, I've got a, a rewards. Oh, some prankster spectacles. And a new hat. Not not really what I wanted. How do I find that that I just discovered? Ah, there it is. Sneaker scope is a type of dark detector and will spin whistle and light up when it detects someone untrustworthy nearby oh, okay it's not what i want then i need a way of getting into those eyeball chests there must be a way put your eye on me haven't you i see you how far away do i have to get before it stops looking at me so no yeah there oh, oh where did i get that cup from what? I just took a drink. How did I do that? <laughs> Accio. Nope. Lumos. Repair on. Leviosa. Hmm. Ooh. What's this menu? Oh, so we got we can put the different spells on our Oh, I see. So we can equip all these different types of spells at once but we just need to unlock them oh wow okay oh so we know what all the spells are now we've got a cadaver no way oh man 
kills enemies in stuff. Man. Okay. Oh, we're going to be, be able to choose whether we become a dark wizard or a good wizard. Can I not talk to you? You don't want to talk to me? Yeah, just search the bag. Take your money. Why can I not talk to you? Hmm. There's a thing above your head, mate. Rebellion. Something just tinked then. I got a I got a buzz on the controller. Something outside behind that fireplace. What was it? What tinged? Why can't I talk to him? Hmm. Oh well. Let's have a quick look behind then. If we can find what it was that we rebellioed. Oh, it's there. A little bag with some money in it. Nice. Something in there as well. Level three unlock. Oh man. Hang on a minute. And I not like level four. Wait a minute. I am. I'm level four. So why can I not open that then? Or is this a different type of level? Hmm. Okay. Whatever. Let's go and see our friend. And hopefully make our way back to school. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Oh, bad guys come in. We're going to get some action. Oh, no way. Yeah, this is what I'm in this game for. Bad guys. Don't you do it. I want to do it. I want to dodge roll and shoot. Hey. Draw it away from the building. Away from the building. There's another one. Oof, that poor building. B. Dodged it. Hey, doing, bro? Oh, I, I pressed that wrong. I'm a troll. Are we weakening him at all? Yeah, he's losing health. Oh, don't we, huh? Don't see what? Ancient magic throw? Wow. I was trying to beat him at his own game. I like it. Oof, I don't I'm not not overly keen on the uh, the lack of Oh, there we go. We've got lock on now. Heal. Can I get a heal, please? Boom. Be a bit more careful. Got him. Invoke ancient magic. But oh no way. We just straight up murdered that guy. Didn't even blink. Goodness. Now everyone can tell me how wonderful I am again. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? Yep. I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? <laughs> we the are. The third time someone we said glad that. to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. 
Okay, so we just go fix some stuff, I guess. Repairer. Oh, I will see what he wants. There you go, guys. Just put it all back together for you, no problem. Just charge a little bit of money. $10,000 per thing I fix. It's cheap. You can afford it, mate. You're rich. There you go. Oh, hang on a minute. This is broken. Fix it. Your boxes are now neatly piled up. You're welcome. Now, there was a little thing that happened over here. There it is. I was going to say that something flashed up while we were in that fight. Nice. Got a new guide page. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff that's broken. Good as no. Mr. Potter. I wonder how many people play this game when they pick the character, call it like Harry Potter. And they wonder if that does anything. I wonder if that like activates any Easter eggs or anything like that or any special lines of dialogue. Just uh, give that a snip. Anything else? Is there any two? Uh, wrong one. Everything done? We get tings when we do that. There's a ting, another ting. I need to jump over this wall. I can't jump over the wall. Oh, man. Is it inside? It, it, oh, it's that thing again. I just, I just want to open you, bro. Let me in. You suck. Okay, right, guys. That is going to be it for this episode. I hope you're enjoying this series. I am certainly enjoying it, playing this. Regardless of my moaning, the points where I'm actually doing the action that I enjoy, I am thoroughly reveling in it. So keep out, keep your eyes out for the next episode. What I meant to say. Cheese.